All right, so yes, this is a short episode of the HVAC School Podcast, and actually, today's Thanksgiving. I'm sitting here in my home office, and I wanted to get out a short episode, so that way we would keep the schedule. You gotta keep the schedule on radio. The show must go on, as they say. We've got 65 people coming over today at 3, and then we've got 45 coming tomorrow. And my wife is thrilled that I'm sitting here in my office talking to you in this short podcast, but it just shows how committed I am to you. Okay, enough chit chat because this is a short episode. And first, I've got to thank our sponsors, NAVAC and NAVACglobal.com, Carrier, carrier Carrier.com, Aeroasis at Aeroasis.com forward slash go, Refrigeration Technologies. Thank those guys for all of their support. And I also want to mention SolderWeld. We're pleased to announce that the Johnstone Wear Group in Central Florida has brought on some solder weld products for those of you who are in Central Florida to try. So thank you to them. Thank you to Black Supply also for doing that here in Central Florida. But if you are not able to find it on the shelves where you are right now, then I would suggest that you have your local supply house contact Products by Pros, productsbypros.com in order to get solder weld on the shelf. It's great stuff. You will love it. Today's episode is on R value and U value, R value and U value. And I think these are things that we tend to ignore in general as technicians. But if you're ever going to do a load calculation, these can come up pretty quickly. And I know I was confused by it because some things have R values listed on them. Some have U values listed on them and it gets really confusing. But we were doing this class with Jack Rise and he reminded me of something that frankly I had forgotten. And that is that R values and U values are really the same thing. So I'm going to tell you how you can do the math. And the math is pretty easy. But if you forget it, this is the sort of thing you don't have to memorize. You can look it up really easily. The main thing to know here is that R value and U value are really just inverse coefficients. Who cares what that means? But here's the point. So R value is a value of resistance to heat energy moving through conductance. And it's important that we establish that it's through conductance because you can have radiant gains and radiant gains vary depending on how much sun is coming through a window, something like that. But conductance is molecule to molecule through an actual solid material. So you can only have convection in fluids, but conductance happens molecule to molecule. And so if you're thinking of a wall, for example, we'll use a wall because that's the easiest way to think about this. The temperature difference across the wall So there's a heat difference across the wall. And of course, hot goes to cold, moves through the wall. You have an R value, which is the value of resistance to the heat moving. But then U value is just the inverse of that. That is the coefficient of heat transfer. In very simple terms, the higher your R value is, the higher your resistance to heat moving, the less heat energy is going to move through the wall. And the lower the U value, the lower the coefficient of heat transfer, the less heat is going to move through the wall. So if you're thinking in in terms of insulation, lower U value is good, higher R value is good. But the truth is, is that the two are essentially identical because you can find your R value from your U value by dividing your U value into one. So you take one divided by U equals R, or you can convert U value to R value by doing one divided by R equals U value. So different materials tend to be categorized in different ways. And in fact, in a lot of your load calculation stuff, you may have to enter a U value, you may have to enter an R value. And if you have the other one, you can easily convert one to the other. All right, so let's look at another kind of useful thing you can do with this, which is really what your manual J programs are really doing. They're just doing it for you so the way you don't have to do all the math. What you're wanting to calculate are heat gains and heat losses primarily when we're talking about that side of things. I mean, this is useful in other arenas of what we do as well, other than doing a manual J, but probably manual J is the most common case that you would use R and U values or you'd run across them. And that is that BTUs per hour equals square feet times the U value times the delta T. I actually posted this on Instagram and Facebook. And some of you asked, what does that U value mean? And I thought, oh gosh, it'd be easier for me to just do a podcast. So that's why I'm doing this short episode. Actually, it's kind of the inspiration of it. But it's BTUs per hour equals square foot times U value times delta T. And each one of those are actually pretty simple on their own. So square footage, that's just the square footage of the surface area. Again, we're talking about conductive gains, actually heat transferred through the material. And we can't count windows where there's glass and there's light coming directly through radiant, but BTUs per hour equals the square footage. So figure out your square footage and then you figure out your temperature difference across. So if you had a 75 degree inside temperature, 95 degree outside temperature, that would be a 20 degree difference across. And then you figure out your U value. If you have an R value, you can convert that easily to a U value by dividing the U value into one. So one divided by U value equals R value or vice versa, but we're solving for U value here. So 
square footage times u value times delta t that equals the BTUs per hour, which for us is what we're trying to find. We're trying to figure out how many BTUs, how many energy units are we moving through this surface? And so very practical stuff. Now, another thing that we need to mention real quickly is that some products are rated. They have a rated u value that you can't use because they may just be rating a part of it and not the entire assembly. So Jack was talking about this how you have some windows where the manufacturer rates the window and they give a U value, but that's just the glass and not the frame and not everything else. So it may not be a whole U value. So you have to make sure when you have a surface or some sort of component that has diversity in it, where it's not all just one thing, that the entire thing is rated. Now, obviously you're talking about a block wall. There's not going to be a whole lot of variation within that block wall because it's a block wall, but something like a window, a door, there can be some variation and you would need to make sure that that is averaged out over the entire surface. And there's, I think it's called the National Fenestration Council. Fenestrations just means openings. They rate openings and they'll take the entire thing and rate it appropriately. And then that gives you an accurate rating. But Jack was mentioning that some manufacturers, when they rate their own products with U value, may not be quite accurate because they may just be rating a portion of it. There you have it. Anyway, R value and U value, you can convert them to each other. R value higher is better. Higher means lower heat transfer. U value lower is better. R value is a resistance value and U value is a coefficient of heat transfer. So there you go. You are now an expert when it comes to R values and U values. Thanks for listening to this podcast. I appreciate you. You can find all of the great shows in the Blue Collar Roots Network by going to bluecollarroots.com. If you haven't downloaded the app yet, the HVAC School app is available on both the Android and the iOS app stores. You can download it there, listen to the podcast, see all the daily tech tips, and also use some of our calculators that we have there. If you haven't tried that out yet, I would suggest that you go give it a shot and give me a zero star review if you hate it. All right. Thanks for listening. We will talk to you next time on the HVAC School Podcast. (laughs) 